Last August, Charles Lockridge woke up one morning and both sides of his face had completely fallen. He was later diagnosed with a severe case of Bell's palsy. Charles had already been suffering acute back pain for three years. So after this double whammy, he was in desperate need of healing. In 2013, Charles Lockridge was sitting down in a chair when it broke. Feet went up and I landed on my back. The next day, he started feeling a sharp pain in his back between the shoulder blades. It just wouldn't go away, it wouldn't stop. And it just felt like somebody was jabbing me all the time or something. After battling the pain for a few months, he went to his doctor who put him in physical therapy. It helped for a while, but the pain soon came back. Almost two years later, the pain became more insistent and it was starting to become a, a regular part of my life again. That's when I went back to the doctors. Surgery was an option, but his doctor first wanted him to try a more extreme physical therapy regime. They sent me off to what's called a, a back boot camp where you specifically work on strengthening your back. It's intensive. The therapy only gave him temporary relief, and Charles found it difficult to keep up his normal life. It impacts your quality of life because you're in pain. And being in pain wears you out. You can't do a lot of the things that you would like to do. When there's pain involved, you just want relief. One morning in 2016, he woke up to another problem. I could not see out of my left eye. All I could see was some shapes and, and some colors, and everything would be very, very fuzzy. He was diagnosed with Bell's palsy, a condition that weakens the muscles in the face. It also left his eye red and swollen. If my back's messed up and this is messed up, and now I can't even see, what am I gonna do? I can't work. I, I couldn't make any sense out of it. The doctor gave him medication for his facial muscles, but it would take at least four to six months for his eye to heal. They really had nothing for the eye, just to wait and see at that point. I just kept praying. I kept praying. You know, sometimes my frustration would, would come out and, I'd, you know, hey, what's taking so long? Two months later, Charles was watching TV at his home. If I'm at home by myself, I'll turn on the TV and I'll look for something that I think will lift my spirits. That day, I just ran across the 700 Club and Terry starts praying. Someone else, you've had a fall that's really thrown your back out of whack and uh, nothing you take seems to help at all. God's healing that for you right now. Just receive it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I didn't necessarily know that it was for me. But when she prayed for the eye, Someone else, you have a condition with your eye. It's like the very rim, top and bottom, gets red, and there's a crustiness that comes from it, but it's very irritating. God's healing that for you right now. I just knew. I just knew that it was, that it was for me. And I started saying thank you. I started saying thank you, Lord. So I woke up the next day, and, and the eye was better, like just all the way better. As soon as I woke up, I noticed it. Charles also noticed something else. Over the next week, all of a sudden it dawned on me that my back doesn't hurt anymore. With his back pain completely gone, Charles went back to work and has been working pain-free ever since. Sometimes it, it takes trust in him when it doesn't look like there's anything happening, where every indicator is, no, it's not going to work. and. I think sometimes God looks for those situations because then it's clearly Him. Yes. It is clearly Him. And so life. many of you I know are encouraged by what happened to Charles. And we want to pray for you today. Take a look at the needs that you have. God is able, not only able, but willing. And so let's pray together for His Spirit to come and to move in your life today. Amen. Got some amazing reports yes. here. Pat, this is Grace, who lives in Melbourne, Florida. She injured her knee last January. She's had pain ever since. Then last February, she's watching this program, and you gave this word. Somebody else has a knee problem. You've got no strength in your knees. Your legs are lock knocking together. There's no strength. Strength is coming into both of those legs. You'll be able 
able to walk and run and climb. She laid her hand on her knee, felt heat healing flowing into it. She's had no pain or problem with it since that let's day. Let's join together. Folks, let's pray. Let's believe God. Jesus. Father, nothing is impossible with you. How we thank you, Lord. Somebody's coughing up blood. Uh, you've even suspected it's tuberculosis. That's not what you've got, but it, it, it may be a bleeding ulcer, but there's something in there that's, you're coughing blood, and I think the name is Evelyn, but you, you, you're, you're completely healed right now. You'll feel warmth in the middle of your diaphragm, and from this moment on, you're healed. Terry. Someone else, you have a problem in the arteries of your calves, and it, it has a, a strong impact on your feet, Thank and you. God is opening that up, Thank healing you. it for you. Vascular problems are gone now in Jesus' name. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, for others in this audience that have a problem, Lord, they're crying out to you. Even as we speak, they're saying, oh, God, how about me? How about me? How about me? Listen to their cry. All across the world, people are crying out, how about me? Help me, Lord. Please help me. And they're, the people are hearing right now, they, the Lord is hearing your cry. Mm -hmm. And may the anointing of the Lord come into your life. May you know complete Thank deliverance. You, and you may you be free from pain and suffering and poverty from this moment on. Thank in you. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Okay, give us a call. If you need further prayer, we're here for you. If you uh, have an answer to prayer, we'd love to hear from you. But please call.